Hi, I'm Robin from Palmer. Welcome to another short Palmer Tech Talk video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Palmer PGA04 uh, speaker simulator. The PGA04 is the successor of the well known Palmer PDI03. In function, these two units are almost identical. The PGA04 does have a couple of additional features, which I'm going to talk you through uh, in this video. But first of all, let me just quickly explain what this unit does. This is a, a DI box slash speaker simulator slash load box. In other words, you can substitute a speaker with this unit. So you can go out of your amp, out of the speaker out of your amp, into here, and the integrated load can convert up to 100 watts of uh, signal to heat. So your tube amp is safe. As you may know, a tube amp without a load will break sooner or later. Um, so let me just quickly talk you through the way this would be set up. I'm going to take the O3 away. Have this there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take a speaker cable and go out of a speaker output of the amplifier. In this case, I'm going to take the 8 ohms output because this unit is specified at 8 ohms. It is available in 2, 4, 8, and 16 ohms. The 8 ohm version is the most popular version. It works with most amps. So I'm taking the 8 ohm output, the speaker output of the amp, and I'm plugging it in to the input of the PGA-04. So now the amp is safe. It is connected to a load. All I need to do now is connect an XLR cable or a jack cable to the filter output of the unit. There you go. And this then goes to your mixing desk or your recording device. And this carries the simulated signal, i.e. the signal which is simulated in such a way that it sounds like a speaker. Without the simulation, it would sound really terrible and scratchy if you take the direct output of an amplifier and record it. You may have tried this. Uh, it sounds awful. So you need some sort of uh, adjustment to make it sound like it's going through a speaker. Right, so that's set up and you're ready to go. Let me quickly talk you through the settings here. This first knob here, or pot here, is the filter volume. It's basically the, lev the output level of the filter output. If you're using a smaller amp, you're probably going to have to turn this up a bit. If you're using a larger amp with more wattage, you might have to turn that down a bit. Um, now let me bring the PDI-03 in again, which is, so to say, the original unit. And here we have switches for the filter circuit. And here on this unit we have pots. The basic function is very similar, but here uh, we're able to do a lot more fine adjustment. Where this unit is just a flick of two switches and you're ready to go, here you will have to tweak a bit more to get the sound you want. As you may also notice, um, the PDR3 has a line output level where you can adjust the level of the line outputs that are going out the back, whereas the 04 has a full range volume. If we look at the rear of the devices, you will see that the 04 is missing these line outputs because on the 04, on the PGA04, you can actually mix in the unfiltered signal directly in the unit. So this is, if you want, it's especially interesting for metal, if you want a bit of that uh, edge on your, on your signal, you can mix in a bit of the unfiltered full range signal. There's also a uh, six kilohertz high cut, if you don't want it to be quite that harsh. Um, it also has an LED chain, which will um, indicate if you have an input wattage, which is always good, so you can see if everything is connected correctly. And um, that's basically it. Both units are passive. They don't need any power supply. The whole filter section is passive. And uh, there is one more thing to mention, and that is if you want to connect a speaker, which you may want to do at bigger venues, it could be that you still want to have your speaker running, but in addition, you also want to have the simulated out go to your front of house. If you want to do that, then very easy, you just connect another speaker cable to the throughout 
of the PGA04 and connect the other end to the cabinet. Now there's one important point to make here and that is that as soon as you plug something into this socket the connection of the load box is broken. The load box here is disconnected because now you have another load in form of a speaker connected. You could also connect a, a power soaker similar if you wanted to. Um, so it's important as soon as you plug something into here make sure that the other end is connected to a suitable load. In this configuration the specified impedance in this case 8 ohms of the unit doesn't matter because the 8 ohms are uh, specified by the load box which is now disconnected. So in this setup all you need to make sure is that the impedance of the amp matches the impedance of the cabinet. So you could use a 4 ohm cabinet if you have a 4 ohm output on the amp or you could use a 16 ohms cabinet then you just need to make sure you use a 16 ohms output on the back of the amp. And that's basically it. The two units PDI-03 and PGA-04 are very similar in sound. You need to do a little bit more tweaking on the 04 to get your sound and basically you can say they sound almost identical. In some cases the 04 sounds a bit tighter would make, which makes it more popular for metal sounds and things like that. Right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in and see you soon. Bye bye.